size survey, I have um, close to, I think I have three, 372 respondents. I'm hoping for a lot more. Um, I'm hoping that I have to upgrade my survey monkey to accommodate 3,000 respondents. Oh, I'm sorry. I Maybe it would be better if I type. Because um, I can do that. It just... Uh, <laughs> it just isn't going to go as well. That's all. Um, I found it helps to type first and then then talk, and that way you can kind of riff off of whatever you typed. Okay. Okay, I can I can I can try that. That means you're gonna have to um, you're gonna have to listen to me type. <laughs> oh, there's a transcriber. Oh, that would be nice. I, and I'll try to talk slowly, because uh, I do know that I, I tend to talk a bit um, quickly. So, um, a little about, okay, a little about my uh, background. I am, uh, I'll be 10 on October 11th. Actually, Malay will be 20. Uh, in October because I started out as an avatar in virtual places in 1997 um, and that was the first time Malay came to be so this is kind of like I don't know my um, where I live you know I've, I've been in, in virtual worlds for quite a quite a while nothing like Second Life although there was community and we did have avatars um, 2D um, so yeah, I'll be 20. Yay. Um, I will be 20. And I've always been curious. I, you know, I found when I started at second in second life, I was a physics major at the university and I knew the day that I rest that I had to somehow incorporate this into my study or quit school because I knew I was going to be addicted. This was it. This was what I was looking for. So, um, I, and, started Four Bridges Project and uh, went into Peace and Reconciliation Studies. Um, you know, I've always been kind of a peacemaker at heart anyway. So, you know, and then I, I found that um, as Malay was giving presentations in Second Life, Amy uh, was getting more confident and uh, I, I found more of my own self by interacting with others through Malay. And I, I thought that, um, you know, I thought there, that there must be something to it. So um, that's how I got started. That's how I got started with the research. And then when I went into my graduate studies, I've used four bridges throughout my academic career. Um, you know, as, as part of like my, I did, that was my capstone. I used it for my thesis project. So it made sense to, um, to use it for my, for my dissertation research. And, and I kind of went back and forth. I, I had problems with my committee. I didn't have a committee for two years and, you know, then, uh, now I'm on this expedited track. And uh, so I will defend in December, and um, you know, and I'll, I'll hopefully be Dr. Cross <laughs> at the end of it. And I, I like that my doctorate is in Second Life. That's what I tell people. So, um, so anyway, that's how this got started. And when I was doing the survey, when I was coming up with the questions, I wanted to ask things that. I wanted to know as a user, um, and as opposed to, you know, looking at things. I wanted to look at things that I was curious about that I thought that um, other residents might be interested in knowing. Um, and I had, you know, I did all kinds of research on how to write a survey and uh, how many questions to ask and where to put the demographics and. Uh, as I was doing all of that, you know, condensing everything I wanted to know and needed to know from my research, obviously, to, it was supposed to be 45 questions, it ended up being 48. So, um, 
but I, I think I got some really good questions. Um, I, there are other things that, you know, I wish I had worded differently, or, but the results have been phenomenal and, and not at all what I expected. I am hoping, I really want to get a more diverse um, swath of the Second Life resident. I've had most of the people who have responded indicate you know, in, in one way or another, I would say, uh, this is an estimate, this is not from my survey, but I would say about 60 to 65 percent are educators, which, you know, says a lot. I, you know, if I expected a higher amount because as educators, we know that the importance of research and, you know, um, but I'd like to get the, the regular user. Uh, so I, I've been spamming some of the, um, renter groups and I'm getting a bad reputation <laughs> at least I'm not asking for 250 Londons to pay my rent you know? so I'm hoping people will be a little more forgiving but I would like to get um, I would like to get a more a more diverse response so I'm open for any any ideas that you have I spammed some of the groups on Facebook and um, you know I'm going to continue to do that uh, but any ideas that you have about groups or whatever if you could get the word out that would be great the survey is open until October 15th and then I really have to start looking at the results oh good I'm, I'm glad I really appreciate any help um, so if you don't mind or if, unless you want to know more um, I'm gonna talk about some of the results that I've gotten, which is kind of, it's kind of interesting. About 79% of the ones who have responded have been in Second Life for at least eight years, which is really, I, I you know, that's, that's pretty incredible to me. I think that, um, you know, I expected more in the three to five year range. So, um, I thought that was interesting that 79% have been in at least eight years. Um, oh, and um, one of the reasons for joining, the, the biggest reason, this is one of the questions that I wish I had asked a little differently. Um, I asked why people join Se Second Life. And the first answer, the one that 52% uh, have responded to, um, is curiosity. Now, I... I that says a lot, but where did where did that curiosity come from? That's that's my question, and so I kind of missed the boat on that one. Uh, but that's the that's the one that uh, has gotten the most responses is curiosity. Not many, and for all the educators that were responding, not many came in for education. So that although we changed the education uh, category to for class so that may have that's the one question that I wish I had <laughs> I wish I had worded differently um, and most people spend at more than 20 hours like 30 percent well let's see let's say I'm gonna say 50 percent here it looks like spend between uh, 16 and 20 hours a week which is interesting um, and not surprising that one wasn't surprising at all and between three or three and four hours was 40 percent and then five or more hours was uh, 21 percent so uh, three or four hours is is the common amount of time per session in Second Life and this one didn't surprise me, live music. Live music is what 60% of the respondents do in Second Line. I think that's excellent. I know, I spent I spent so much time in Second Life when I first joined, so that was a surprising one, <laughs> I would have guessed. But I think we all kind of go, you know, when we're doing these surveys, don't really want to admit how much time we spend in here. But yeah, live music was, uh, it was live music and socializing. Those are the two big ones, and they're running pretty much neck and neck. Um, so, and that, that makes sense too. Uh, griefing, 
Griefing is also in here, and we had 1% who come in just to grief. <laughs> Anyone who knows me and knows Four Bridges knows that I love the griefers. I like to turn them into scripters for me, and, you know, I very rarely, I, I've never banned or kicked anyone off of Four Bridges, so um, that's why I included that. Clubs and Venues runs a very close third, so all you club owners. Um, and uh, then the next one, the fourth one, is to explore simulated locations like uh, Berlin, Paris, Sistine Chapel, and all of that. So, um, you know, and that wasn't so surprising. Oh, and um, relationships with others, intimate relationships with others. That's 50% answered yes to that one. So, and another cool one that I like, um, like, because, you know, with everything that's going on and all the diversity. Exploring other cultures was pretty good. That was 25%. Um, exploring sexuality was at 25%. And exploring gender, you know, most of the research I've read has said that, um, you know, many of the women in here are men and that sort of thing. Well, they're not answering this survey because exploring gender was less than 10%. So um, I thought that was interesting. Oh, and here's another one that just blew my mind. I don't know about you guys, but I have like, I don't know, I think I have five or six, maybe even more alts, you know, because I have one that handles the money, one that does this, one that goes shopping, one when I just want to um, hang out. So I expected that most people had, you know, maybe four or five. Um, actually, 43% have one avatar. One. Seriously, one avatar. And then 32% uh, have two avatars. But less than 20%, less than 15% actually, have more than two avatars. Yeah, just one. I, I'm, I, it's like, where did you people come from? <laughs> Because I had one just for, uh, you know, just when I want to just go exploring. So I thought that was a really interesting one. 95% um, have an, oh, sure. The question was, how many avatars do you use regularly in Second Life? And um, f nearly 50, I, I guess it's 45%, use one just one avatar, and then 33% um, use two avatars, so that's what, 78%, and then um, three is like 12%, and then the rest of them are less than, uh, less than 5%, I'm like, yeah, so, and then only a few would rather not say how many they have, so. Um, that one, that one really, really, really surprised me. Um, and, but 95% of them have, I did, I did. I have, um, I, I have several questions about how, how frequently, um, people change their avatar. So, uh, let's see. I'll, I'll, I'll go through on, through this because otherwise... I'll get lost. I don't want to admit that, but it's true. Um, so they, 95% have a main avatar, and uh, the main reason for people who use avatars, the main reason they have them, number one reason is for privacy. And I, you know, I kind of let it go at that. And then um, building, building was the uh, building was the second reason why people have a separate avatar. I should read some of these questions. Um, yeah, see, I, I expected, especially with all of the um, role play in here, I figured that, that there would be people who have an avatar for each one of the role play communities. But only 17%. Uh, use a second avatar for roleplay communities. So this this all kind of um, kind of was not what I expected. 
And then I asked how important uh, the main avatar's appearance is. And 76%, oh, I, I have to apologize. I live downtown right by the police and fire station, so the, the sirens, I'll try to mute when they come by and type. 76% uh, said their avatar, um, their avatar's appearance was extreme, was very important to them. And the rest of them said it was somewhat important. And only 4% said that it, they were neutral about it. So, uh, let's see. Did I miss a question? I'll try and come back. Um... Perhaps, and, and we all oh, think that almost everyone's avatar looks younger than their real self. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, and I didn't, I didn't put anything in there about. Um, I had to limit, you know, because most people don't want to fill out a hundred question survey, and the, the more questions there are, the less. You know, eventually people just get to a point where they're just checking things off to get through it or they quit. So, um, you know, I, I think I, it was hard to get all of my questions in there. Definitely going to do another one. I can tell you that now. Um, and, and the thing that surprised me, too, and maybe it's because I'm kind of geeky and I hate shopping, um, but how much effort people put into their avatars um, when they first joined Se Second Life, 52% said that they...